Hey, Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for March 25th to April 1st. I am Charlene Lizette. We have a jam packed week in the cosmos with the full moon lunar eclipse happening on the 28th, no, 25th of March. Sorry. Then we have the, uh, sorry, we have Mercury stationing retrograde on April 1st. Then we have the solar eclipse on April 8th. Like there's just a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Um, if you are feeling a little bit groggy or tired, I would say take this time to rest. Raven has not come into any of the readings for this week and you are the first one she's coming to. So that tells me a couple of things along with the amulet you got, um, protect your energy, protect your space, protect your peace of mind this week Four, five, <clears throat> six and seven yeah uh you know with the four of pentacles and the four of one of wands you may be spending a lot of money or having to invest a lot of things in your home um real estate or celebrations uh parties events um weddings that kind of stuff okay where there's just a lot of money coming out maybe some of you bought a piece of property hi are you okay princess or some of you maybe bought a piece of property or you, you know, are putting down a down payment, something like that. OK, I don't think that this week is a hard week. I think that this week is a week where you got to fuel yourself. You got to fill your own cup. You got to listen to what source is saying. You know, this is a time to focus on you. Yeah. With the four of pentacles here, your financial stability, your financial security, your abundance, your wealth, it's really important for you to take care of that during this time, okay? Really important for you to honor that, um, uh, celebrate it, um, enjoy it with this four of wands as well, but also the, the balance, temperance. Be balanced in your approach. Um, be pragmatic. Alchemize the energy, right? Know when to be in action and know when to be in stillness. There's also a lot of truth that could be revealed to you during this time. You also may find out a lot of things about people. I would pay attention to where you're being led this week, okay? Where is the universe leading you? Where is the universe asking you to go? That is what I would be paying attention to. I would be observing and watching what source is saying to you. I almost feel like source is telling you, um, source is telling you, um, telling you things, honestly, like, uh, your dreams, premonitions, intuition, all of that stuff. Uh, don't resist it. Don't resist where you're allowed. Don't resist the downloads. Don't resist the things that don't make sense. Don't try and logicify things this week. Just let yourself be in this place, Capricorn, where you are open to receiving. You have resistance here, struggle, obstacles, experience, effort, learning, conflict, obsession, problems. So that's why I say to you, trust your purpose. Okay. Trust where you are led. Trust where you need to go. Okay. You see that? Trust. Okay. You know, it, there is a reason why you're here on earth. And I think this week you're starting to understand and see things from a different perspective here. You may even find yourself in this place where you are feeling like you need to, um, I don't know, like transform yourself, revamp who you are, upgrade, level up, makeover like that. There's that kind of energy really um, in the air. And there's a part of you that's feeling this leveling up. But then there's this other part of you where you're like, well, I'm comfortable where I'm at because I this is what I know. This is where I've always been and so on and so forth. So there's like these two like polar opposites happening at the same time. Old you saying, let's stay where we're at. And then new you going, it's time to level up right? So again, I would say to you, trust where you are led and know that you have a massive purpose here in this earth. Even with Ares, Ares, the amulet from Cersei Jewels, you can pick that up in the description box below. This is all about being powerful. This is all about um, being protected, having the drive, the courage, the vitality to go after what you desire, okay? To believe in yourself. With the hanged man and the six of cups, I would very much pay attention to whatever stories, narratives, opinions, um, people would place upon you, especially when you were young. I think that with the full moon in Libra, this is a time of taking a look at your relationships, being introspective, acknowledging and recognizing and seeing the relationships that you had. And I think that for a lot of you, when you were little, um, you know, there, there were things that were said to you that created a lot of insecurities. 
And this is a month where you're like, I got to release all those. I got to purge all those. I got to let all of those go, right? They're, they don't belong to you anymore. You're leveling up here and leveling up means that you got to let go of the past. Let's dive into your love reading here. Also, again, really interesting that Raven's right here. Like, it's almost like Raven's trying to tell you, tune into your inner panther. See, as soon as I started talking about her, she's like, okay, I can sit now. Now, now she, she, she said what I needed her to say. So it's really, I'm very, very interested. I don't know if you have cats. I don't know if you believe in cats and the energy of cats and the magic that cats have to offer. Don't know if you're into Egyptian mythology. I would look into that. Okay. Um, should I tell them? What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Cats have this innate ability to see the realms that we don't see here. They are protectors of the spiritual realm. So dogs are earthly protectors. Cats are spiritual protectors. The fact that she's been in the frame and literally was covering me, you need to spiritually protect yourself, okay? Because there are, I don't want to like say this to scare you, but there are people that really, really um, try to bring you down to nothing. And now that you're leveling up, I feel like they're going to resurface again. Mercury is also stationing retrograde. So I wouldn't be surprised if they resurface again with love here. We have, you deserve love, the ACE of swords, codependency and the King of cups and unrequited love here and the page uh, or the Knight of pentacles. This could have been a toxic relationship, honestly, where you um, where they told you that you were never going to amount to anything, that you were horrible, that you were awful, that you were a monster, you're the worst partner ever, like just very debilitating, degrading, insulting, a traumatic, abusive, verbally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, sexually, like all these things. And they may try and come back. I would be very cautious about that. They may try and come back and be like, oh, I've changed. I want a second chance. I want this. No. No, 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 no. You are leveling up. And I think they feel that. I think that they feel that they can no longer have control over you. They no longer have power. I have to tell you this. This is like such a, such an interesting energy here. Like you might run into them at a party, a celebration. You might be going to like put a down payment on a home or do something so exciting for yourself. And it's like, they fucking lure their head in your life. And you're like, what the heck? And it's really like a lesson here from source, especially with this eclipse energy to say like Capricorn, have you remembered your self-worth, your self-power? Have you? Right? Do you respect yourself, love yourself enough now to just turn around and be like, no, keep, stay back, right? I rebuke you, right? That's, that's the vibe I'm picking up here. So really tune into your own inner power and celebrate your wins this week. Don't give energy to the toxicity. I'm going to pop this video here to help you out. If you want to book a session with me, work with me in any capacity, take a look at the description box below. Ditto to take any of my courses. Follow me on Instagram, all that stuff. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.